guys, welcome back. We have such a chic little design that we have just created here in the studio. Not we, I just gave <laughs> myself a little credit there. Actually, Trevor Hill here, owner of Curated Home and Trevor Hill Design. He created this lovely display and it looks so cute. So good morning, thank you for coming. Thank you, yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, I just wanted to bring a few things that are honestly fresh from market. Yeah. So sometimes I'll pack an extra luggage and then try to bring, um, they have an area called the temporaries or they used to be called the cash and carry. Okay. So I try to grab those, but then also some things, even if you do ship it, it comes so quickly. So mm -hmm. this is literally a sampling of things that are fresh from market. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, you keep saying market. So for <laughs> people who don't, don't know, what is market? Yeah, so market, um, there are just a handful of locations across the US and this one was the world market that I came from and that okay. one's in Las Vegas. Yeah. And um, one thing people are surprised about is these buildings are gigantic. They're like 28 stories high. There's building A, B and C for Vi Vegas, for example. Okay. Each market's just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And you can actually, if you're driving from the Strip going to Fremont Street, you see these gigantic buildings. They almost look like three Fargo domes. They're okay. huge. Yeah. Nothing is ever in there besides market. So, and I mean furniture market. Yeah. So there's never like, oh, clothing market or anything. It's really fascinating, oh, the okay. infrastructure just for this. Only yeah. open twice a week, or tw sorry, two weeks out of the year. Oh my gosh, okay. And they take three months to tear it down, three months yeah. to set it up, they present for one week, wow. three months to tear down, three months to set up, present for a week. It's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, so then every company, you name the company, even the huge companies that you can think of, mm -hmm. all of them go to market. Wow. So they go to the same vendors we do. Okay. And I mean, we just have a little boutique store um, yeah. next to Plaza Azteca and Gunderson's, that area yeah. like off of Veterans. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, so you can see a sampling of these items. Obviously these are from the store, yeah. but it's really neat to see almost like trend forecasting of the next two years. I mean, I'm not psychic. It's just because <laughs> I go to market. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> You just got back from market, correct? Yeah, yep. um, so explain the atmosphere. Oh, it's really fun. It is. It's yeah. so exhausting though. So anytime we have a new employee come or somebody that's never been to market, I you always have to wear comfortable shoes. Like oh, it doesn't okay. matter what your outfit is, even mm. though that's so trendy to wear like a dress with tennis shoes, right? Yeah, right. But always tennis shoes. You're okay. doing like 20,000 steps. Oh, I bet. It's wild. And then it's really almost like information overload. And I shouldn't say information, but like stimulus, overstimulated. Yeah. There's so much to look at and you have yeah. to really sift through it and figure out like, well, I mean, would that be sellable or is it above the um, trend? Because yeah. personally, I know some people like love trends, but personally yeah. I like to be a little more timeless and find things within the trend that would work long-term, not yeah. just like, oh wow, you really did that ship lap, you know? Right, <laughs> Which no, some people absolutely. still love. Yeah, <laughs> right. Or that Chevron. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, All boy. right, so we love it. And it looks like you yeah. found some timeless pieces. Do you want to go through them? And yeah. We, we can find this at your store, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So like this marble tray, for example, these are huge. You can put them on your island, your table. Yes, yes. I have one actually, um, my husband, we had to grab two of these. And one of them, he's like, we have to keep one so one of them's <laughs> on my council table okay, at home the other one's it. at the store ready for sale <laughs> Perfect. and then um one of a kind rugs so these are just like this is just a little example but Cute. it's truly a one of a kind you can even see they're like centuries old yeah. it has little worn out marks but it's so beautiful like small ones like this oh gosh, so great for yeah. a vanity oh i bet yep and okay. then we have a lot of runners too for kitchens hallways yeah. and then also um i'm noticing a lot more like more color. You know, we had, mm -hmm. and my house is like a sea of beige, but. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, it's pretty <laughs> neutral right here. <laughs> it is, but you can start to see like some deeper like brown tones and greens yes, and absolutely. some rust tones. Mm -hmm. And I noticed at market, a lot green is really trending. Oh, I bet, okay. Some of the deeper, richer greens. Yeah. And, and then also just keeping, even though they're going with kind of darker tones, mm -hmm. even like some of these like deep olive colors. Yeah. Um, they're still trying to make it fresh and lighter, so like, if you're doing a vase, for example, and this is just a little example, you would add in some sprigs that would make it a little more fresh and feel like soft so it doesn't feel so harsh. Yeah. But it is interesting to see when it was like everybody wanted a white kitchen and white walls and right. beige. Yep. Now it's like, oh wow, okay, people are doing like more moody items yeah. now or a more moody kitchen like stained wood. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, well, absolutely. Stained wood doesn't mean moody, but you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> 
the viewers know. <laughs> I was thinking about like those really trendy kitchens where they were like really white and then they yeah. had like the gray floors, you know what I mean? Oh, yes. Yeah, I feel like that's what I think of when I think back on that. But then ever <laughs> since like Emma Chamberlain came out with her like green kitchen, I don't know, that might be yeah. a little too niche. But um, green cabinets are always like kind of like Those sagey green. I really yeah. like that. So um, we kind of got the rundown of the latest and greatest. So what do you see coming in the next two years? So I do see more, a lot more texture and really there's this huge, I wouldn't say push, it's really from the consumers. The consumers mm -hmm. push what like pretty much the trends are, right? And then of course a little bit of it is what they're showing and then after they see it a while on TikTok or Instagram, yep. they start to love something that they didn't think they wanted at one time. Mm -hmm. And I remember being on here probably like four years ago saying boho is going to be huge. And, and that was and then about what two years ago boho was such a big thing yeah. with woven baskets Absolutely. and not that that's like out or anything but now people are like just intermixing because mm -hmm. before boho was farmhouse you know so yeah, I mean farmhouse yeah. went to boho and now yeah. I would say um, organic modern is what I'm seeing like okay. the kind of key term a lot yeah. of people are saying but it's really about the one-of-a-kind items not okay. going into even some of the boutiques here even locally you walk in and it's like 15 of the same vase mm -hmm. that's kind of like people are wanting unique when they go into their neighbor's house they don't want the same vase right. you know yeah. they want like something that was either I mean an antique or something mm -hmm. that's just really unique to the space so yeah so that I mean that's something we've always tried to do is really yeah not just the name Curate, but don't just go to Curate at our store and buy everything. No, you should shop around, like you should yeah. curate your own home. Everything around your, even in your home, is curated. Like, even if it was a hand-me-down, you mentally chose to have that item in there. Yeah. And that is a curation. Yeah. yeah, and whatever makes you happy in your home. For sure. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so where can people find your store? So it's right next to Plaza Azteca and uh, Gunderson's right off of Veterans. And then um, it's in it's in the Uptown and Main building, so there's okay. apartments above us. Oh, okay. So sometimes people think we're like connected to Plaza, but they're, you know, freestanding. Yeah. And then they can also go to our website, curatedbythd.com. And then, of course, our design company is Trevor Hill Design. So, I mean, we're just doing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we love to see it. And we'll have you back on for sure, okay? All right, well, we got to get out of here. So we have lots more coming up on today's show. There's a tea party at a West Fargo Public Library. We'll tell you all about it after the break.